Welcome to Word 2016, and we're going to talk about in this video smart art. Smart art allows us to do some great business things in a Word document. Uh, you could also use, maybe use this for a paper for school as well, or maybe even in, in uh, some other application. But um, I'm going to personally like to use it for business. So let's click on the Insert tab and then click on Smart Art. And you can see on the left hand side, if you leave it at the default, you see all the different shapes. But that could be a little bit overwhelming. So maybe pick what exactly you're looking for. There's different lists, so such as a block list. Uh, there's a picture access list, uh, horizontal picture access list, all different kinds of lists. Uh, here's a process. And uh, some of these things might be used for scientific. Some of these might be used for other business applications. Uh, so, for instance, this is a timeline, which is pretty cool. Uh, here's cycle. So it sort of shows um, maybe some flow chart type things. And there's a hierarchy. So if you have a business that you want to show who's in charge and that kind of thing, then this would be the way to do it relationships and matrix and there's all different kinds of other ones as well so let's go ahead and look at cycle which I think might be useful to a lot of people let's go ahead and click OK on that particular cycle now once we open this up we can see that we can go in and edit each one of these different boxes individually so let's just say that uh, these are we've got one two three four five so let's just say it's Monday through Friday so let's do Monday Tuesday, I think you get the idea. Okay, you can see when I edited these on the left hand side that they edited these on the right hand side as well. All right, so let's go ahead and close our box. Now, you, what you can do is you can manipulate each individual box. If you want, uh, say, Monday to get bigger for some reason, you can go ahead and change the size of Monday. If you're not a big fan of Wednesday, you can click and drag inside, and you can make Wednesday really small. So that's one thing you can do. Let's go ahead and take a look at something else. Let's highlight uh, our Friday box, and let's go ahead and click on Change Colors and we can see that all the different colors change but we may not want to move, change all the different colors we may just want to change one particular uh, the of the uh, color here so let's go ahead and click oh, that's editing text let's right click again click on font and from here we should be able to change the color so let's go ahead there's our font color right there And if we right click on the box, you can see the fill, and we can change and click fill. And you can see the different colors change as we highlight them. So let's go ahead and change that one to a green. All right, so let's right click again and choose outline. And we can change the thickness of the outline. And then we can go in and change the color of the outline. Let's click on style and we can see the different styles change as we go around them very good all right so you can also edit the text as i mentioned earlier the font you can change the shape so let's say hey i don't want that shape for that particular one let's change it into an arrow and you can even click on the arrow and say ah, i didn't mean to have it upside down i want to have it right side up so there we go. If you want, you can make the entire picture bigger just by clicking on the outer edge. And make sure you don't get it too far one way or the other. You can then pick it up and move it a little bit if you want as well. Now if we want, we can uh, go back and edit uh, the entire boxes just by clicking on this arrow. It pops it back up again. And we can change this to any other thing that we, we want. We can change it to Saturday, for instance. Of course, we're upside down on Saturday, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and we'll point Saturday to the right. There we go. All right. So lots of different things you can do uh, with Smart Art. And you can kind of go through all the different ones. You can even cl click on office.com, and you might even find some new ones there as well. Uh, then we've got, you know, pictures, pyramids, as I mentioned, lots of different options that you can do and incorporate that into a paper or uh, business proposal.
So that's Smart Art in Microsoft Word 2016.